Hi everyone, welcome to the most important design video of the year. Yes, we're checking out the new UX UI design trends that you can expect in 2024. Some of these are taking big leaps forward and some are blowing up right now. So let's just get started. The first one here is Bento Designs. And Bento Design is nothing new. Remember in Windows 8 and Lumia phones, you would see these unique windows and you'll be able to click and see information in each one of these windows. Well, after they saw a rise in the trend of Bento Designs, Apple took this up and now they've been using it in every little show that they're doing. And you know, if Apple starts a new trend, well, it sticks and it spreads like wildfire. And this time, it was no difference. Not only that, Bento has become very animated recently. So it's not just static Bento grids. It's actually animated grids that are flowing in from different directions. There are different images, videos playing. There's hover interactions happening everywhere. What's really cool about this is that some innovative companies and they included product demos into these Bento designs. As you can see in the background, my mouse can actually interact with the interface as if I'm interacting with the actual app or software. This gives an insight to the users. Okay, this is the kind of product we're gonna use. Okay, this is how the software looks before they even go forward using the software. This has become so prominent that Relume decided to make this their home screen. If you go to relume.io, you can see all their product and service offerings right there on their home screen. And if you hover over it and it asks you to click and move forward. And this is also another innovative way to just use a Bento design on your website. There's no scroll, there's no other information just a bento grid. There are two really cool resources that I want to share where you can actually find bento inspiration as well as bento UI kits. The first one is simply named bentogrids.com and bento grids has the largest collection of graphic design and web design examples of bento grids. Now I'm sure that you find a lot of these bento grids online and you want to kind of replicate them into Figma frame. There's a free plugin in Figma called and this will literally convert any website that you see into a Figma design and it's quite accurate as well. Okay 2023 was a big announcement year for Apple and put the spatial design industry on fire. So this year, this has to be a trend because I've seen every designer making VR AR experiences. A huge part of this trend were VR workspaces. So you put on a headset and you're able to see your workspace here in front of you. You'll be able to see all these interfaces flying in front of you. A great place to start your AR VR journey will be Bezi. Bezi is one of the only easy to use tools. It almost feels like you're using a tool like Spline or Figma, but here you are making the entire UI for a AR VR space. They have also included tutorials, guidelines. As many of you know, Apple also came to Figma this year with all their cool design resources. There's an official Apple page on Figma. They've made their AR VR kit public. So you can just pick up this kit and this is the best starting point for you guys if you want a UI kit to start off from. In 2023, designers are, have not held back and are going all in with the animation trend. Now, animations used to be tricky, you, you would have to know after effect, but now people demand animated interfaces. For example, I'm gonna quote Apple again. Apple Watch Series 9 website is really cool. It showcases how the watch works on your wrist with these live moving videos of sorts. Now this is definitely level 100, but at level 10, you have something like Lottie files bringing the Figma to Lottie animation tool. So this allows any of your Figma smart animates to convert to an actual Lottie file, which you can then send to the developer or use on your website or app. Apart from becoming easier and more accessible, designers are now not shying away from experimental stuff. So, so some top designers are creating these galaxy buttons and these unique interactive elements that you can interact with on a website. And these have been implemented in tools like Framer and Webflow. So they're not only proving that it's easy to implement, but designers are also proving that all of this works but they, because they have it live on their commercial websites. And since everything became so similar in design and visual aesthetic, that differentiating your website or your product becomes important. And at such a point, 
such galaxy buttons and unique layouts come into play there are two two or three famer examples that were used prominently used and they've given a copy option okay this is one of the biggest debates every content creator has been creating this the end of flat design is it the end of flat design is flat design no more let me give you a quick glimpse the whole debate began when reddit one of the top biggest social media as well as community websites in the world did a complete brand shift and everything now is 3d and interactive so you'll see this cute little robot. Let me know in the comments what this robot is named because I'm forgetting the name of the robot. This droid or robot actually is 3D. Where on Mac OS, every icon now, every official icon and even third party icons are coming up with three 3D logos and 3D icons. I think that's really cool. But apart from that, because the 3D trend has moved forward so much, that it makes sense that the UI becomes three-dimensional as well. So now you will see people moving towards pseudo 3D elements as buttons, text, forms, etc. Not only that, you'll see more depth on websites. So if you hover over something, it will lift up and it will feel like it's parallax also. So that adds to that depth. You will spot these cool gradient buttons, which almost look as if they are popping out of the screen. Airbnb took the world by storm this year with their 3D updates. Introduced some new features and to showcase those features, the entire video was like a nice Pixar movie. There were people who were 3D, there were spaces which were 3D, there were app demos using 3D as a pickup. Airbnb has been a leader in UI design. Every company wants to be like Airbnb in terms of design. Since the trend was inevitable. If they do something new or different, people will pick it up and make it a trend, of course. And let's face it, making 3D elements now is so much easier because of the softwares available, because of the knowledge available out there. Everyone is teaching 3D now and everyone is moving to tools like Spline. You guys would be so angry if I had not included artificial intelligence into this video. Be it actually useful like Relume did or be it gimmicky like <coughs> Framer. Then you had companies like OpenAI and Adobe creating actual standards for AI art and AI visuals so that artists get the credit they deserve for their visuals. I mean, if you want to try creating UI using AI, where there are two to three really cool resources. There is UIZerd and their new AI feature where you just type a prompt and it builds an entire UI for you. That was big. Relume has taken responsibility for UX design. So you can actually create proper wireframes exportable to Figma and Webflow and are able to create sitemaps which are relevant for UX designers as well as for UI designers. But let me tell you when I say it works, it actually truly works. It's not a gimmick. AI has truly just been pushed because of the tools and softwares. If these softwares did not exist, designers wouldn't even know about how to use AI in their design life. Now, there are some negative connotations to this. Every designer and their uncle is getting up and instead of finding solutions to the problems, figuring the problem out themselves, they are just going to chat GPT, typing random things. You can be as accurate as possible but AI is not going to give you relevant solutions to your current situation. It is based on databases and information that is already available. AI is great for inspiration, don't get me wrong. But I've seen a lot of designers almost depending on AI for, for figuring out solutions to problems. Things like this need to be taken into consideration and I hope you guys use it responsibly. Now the internet is full of hundreds of other design trends and I'm sure there are some that I missed out on. Let me know in the comments if there's a design trend you are excited for which I didn't include. You guys were extra kind to me in 2023 and thank you so much for that. For everyone who subscribed, for everyone who liked. Alright guys, I'll leave you to it now. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you liked this video. I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Until next time, take care. God bless.